Good evening, I'm Adrian Arsenault. Andrew is away. Tonight, the closure of an Alberta plant highlights pandemic worker safety. Our members in that plant are grieving and they're horrified and they're terrified. How Alberta's government responded. With new vaccine doses on the way, truckers say they deserve priority. We haven't even been told if, if we're gonna get vaccinated or not. As Ontario opens up, early warnings about the next lockdown. If the goal is to protect the health and safety of Ontarians, I think this is a bad decision. And a secretly recorded cry for help makes international waves. Every day I am worried about my safety in my life. A princess alleges forced attention by her father. This is The Nation. From day one of this pandemic, the priority for governments across the country was crystal clear to keep Canadians safe. So new rules and policies were put in place on everything from when you can get a haircut to when you can get a vaccine. And yet tonight, there are questions about just how well those policies are protecting some essential workers. Like people keeping us fed and those hauling goods across the border. In two stories, we will look at two industries, the pandemic dangers and the calls for action from workers themselves. So let's begin in Red Deer, Alberta, where a meat processing plant has temporarily closed amidst a deadly outbreak of COVID-19. 343 cases are now linked to it. And as Aaron Collins tells us, workers are worried. Outside the Olamel plant in Red Deer, a sign boasts the facility and its 1,800 workers help feed the world. But a spike in COVID-19 cases here has changed that. The company announced late Monday it was temporarily shuttering the pork processing facility. More than 300 workers there have now tested positive for COVID-19. One man in his 30s has died, a death that has shaken his co-workers. Some of them are scared to work because, you know, they worry about their health, they worry about their family, and stuff like that. This employee, whose identity we've agreed to protect, worked in the same area as the man who died last month. As a close contact, they were told by the company to get tested for COVID-19, but they say they weren't told to isolate at home. If we're going to get tested and we haven't received the results yet, are we still coming to work while waiting for the, for the result? And she said yes because you guys need money. While waiting for those results, they worked a second job at a group home for people with disabilities, raising concerns of spread outside the plant, a common worry for lower income workers during this pandemic. People who are moving to multiple employers are only doing so because they can't afford to put food on the table without doing that. There are now outbreaks at eight meat processing plants in Alberta, and the union that represents workers at Olamel says the province should have closed the plant sooner. We have a deep concern about a third wave, and we need to protect workers in workplaces. Our members in that plant are grieving, and they're, and they're horrified and they're terrified. All this as cases of COVID variants continue to rise in Alberta. I know that many Albertans are concerned about these variants, and I am too. I am particularly concerned about the growing number of cases not linked to travel. The province says it inspected the Olamel plant 14 times since mid-November, but even as cases of COVID-19 surged in the new year, it was allowed to stay open. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.